Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony. I'm going to be reviewing the CyberPower battery backup, the CP1500 PFC LCD. So I was looking for a battery backup that had the capacity to support my uh, computer here as well as everything else around it, all the other electronics. And uh, the other battery backup was really only supporting the computer and I actually maxed it out and that kind of pushed me into getting a new battery backup here quite a bit um, faster than what I really wanted to. But uh, this is, I think, was the best choice and the correct choice to go with as well. Um, I had a smaller and with Vega and Threadripper, it can pull quite a bit of power if you start running a CPU, uh, basically like a simulation that uses all six or yeah, 16 cores, and 32 threads, as well as, you know, uh, something on Vega as well that uses 100% utilization on that. I, so I've, I've done that, I've maxed it out. This does support it. I've actually had a little bit of fun trying to test it, it out and just see how well the battery works and everything else. But this guy, this PFC line, uh, CyberPower has many, many different um, capacities overall in there. And this capacity is the 1500 volt amps and the, it does 900 watts. That's its capacity. And they have other ones that are much lower and whatever. And if you're looking for a battery backup, um, make sure you get one that supports everything you need. And that's well, you don't have to always go with the biggest capacity. It's, you know, prices will range. Right now, this guy, MSRP, is $259 in the $260 in the United States. So that is, it's not cheap overall, but it is something I wanted to do to make sure my equipment was protected. Um, there, there are sales. I, I have seen sales, and I got a good sale on this. And that's what one reason why I did pick it up. So watch that as well. If you're looking for something or maybe want to replace yours with maybe a better one, look for a sale. That might be a good option as well, as many places will go on and off uh, over times as well. But um, I have another video of an unboxing. If you want to see the whole thing unboxed, uh, I would turn this around, but it's running everything behind me and the computer and everything, and I don't want to chance myself actually knocking it out and turning everything off. So... Um, but it does have 10 outlets, a coaxial, a telephone, ethernet, two USB in the front, and uh, USB and serial in the back that you can connect to your computer to control it with the uh, Power Panel Personal Edition software that they have as well. I have not installed the software at all. I, I kind of was seeing this and kind of looking at it as, you know, I want to take a device, I want to set it there, I want to set it up, and I just want it to work. And uh, many people that I will recommend to or help them out with their own computer issues or electronics issues. That's what I kind of want as well because the whole setup process is something else I have to explain and walk through. And while it may be nice, it's a lot easier to get your devices all plugged in and set up and just have it work, which I think is a bigger deal. So I'm reviewing it from that aspect of it as well because I think that that is a key aspect that many people are going to use as well, especially if you don't have a computer connected or close by. At least then you can still get it set up and support your other electronics that you have on it. And it does have three buttons here. It's a display, silence, alarm, and control. And these actually do a lot that you can do to set up the whole device as well, which I think is really, really cool. So this device is, I said it was part of their PFC line, which is their basically like a pure sine wave. And so what's really kind of cool is that instead of doing a simulated output sine wave, especially when you're on battery, so instead of being like simulated where it's like flat lines and it actually has no power at some points in time um, for a period of time I should say because of the simulation of it it will be a pure sine wave where it's just up and down the whole time kind of like how the electricity comes into your house so that's what's actually uh, basically perfectly replicating when you go on battery that's one of the really big reasons why I did this because that can actually with uh, some certain energy power standards and everything else make sure that it's exactly supporting the equipment that you have on the other end and less likely to damage that equipment if you know if it needs that support as well so that's one huge thing overall that you're going to be able to get with this with this uh, whole line is that pure sine wave model that's going to support your equipment much better and hopefully make your equipment last longer as well uh, i know i i've been in that scenario where i've actually had things you know destroyed not stop working because of surges and everything else you know overvolts and stuff from the electrical lines and this was a huge 
uh, I basically went, uh, I've gone to better backup on every, everything just to protect it, which has been a huge help overall. Because at one point I was living in an area where power was um, not as clean as it should be, as I was hoping it would be. So I had to deal with that, and the battery backups have been a huge help for that overall. This also has green power. Uh, Green power UPS is what they call it. It's a bypass design. So let's say your power is clean. Uh, this allows the utility power then just to pass through the whole system, uh, skip a lot of the circuitry that's in there, and be a much more efficient and use less uh, energy consumption, noise, heat buildup, etc. in this system by by bypassing a lot of the stuff in there as well. So if you have clean power, there's a great benefit to this guy as well. That's their green power UPS, which is their their patented design stuff that you can uh, use with that as well. Now, uh, just one more little touch thing on the sine wave stuff is that it, it, this is a for uh, power protection to Energy Star 6.0 systems with active PCF power supply. So this is that was some of the things that was I also wanted to get for that the pure sine wave. You know, it's just an added benefit, but I want to add that little tidbit in as well. So this this is overall system has been impressive and I really like it. But one thing I really want to look at here is I've been playing with the run times, unplugging it, plugging it back in. This whole system, like I said, is Threadripper Vega. So it can pull quite a bit of power. But if I'm really just web browsing and stuff, I get about probably about 50, 45 minutes of estimated runtime. Right now it's just idling here and you can see it's around 56 minutes as well. So that's kind of cool that it has all this stuff on display. I'm going to go through some of the stuff here, but I want to quick do a quick overview of this whole display, which it has its online. It tells you that you're plugged in online. So if you go on battery, it'll tell you. It also has the uh, green energy savings. So when you have energy savings, that'll pop up. It has your sensitivity and then your load as well. So you can adjust these as well with some of the button configurations. It's actually in the sheet. It has a function setup guide that you can walk through. It's actually a really simple guide. And I, I went through and I've actually read the, all the instructions. I was surprised because I was kind of more interested in it once I got more into the device. But it's a really nice setup. You can really set up what like the sensitivity you want and everything else. Now this middle line here tells you if you're uh, actually there right next to the load over on this side, which you can't see right now because I'm not on battery. It actually has the battery. Uh, it'll tell you if you're on battery as well. Then this middle line that's all blank there, it tells you if you're uh, using automated of automatic voltage regulation. So let's say you have, you know, your voltage is not, you know, perfect. This will automatically regulate it without having to go on battery power, which is a huge benefit overall. So you don't have to do that constant switch, which can then actually save on your battery, make it last longer, and have you, so you have better battery life later on as well. You also tell you can also tell it to mute. You can set it for a schedule. It'll tell you if you are overloading the system, and it'll tell you alarm as well. So that that's pretty cool. And you can set all that stuff up from the device. From what uh, if I'm remembering correctly from that function sheet, I don't have it memorized. But go if you buy one of these, go check out the function sheet as well. But right now I have the estimated battery uh, light, uh, run or estimated runtime as well. But if I can go and I can click display, now I have the events. They can tell what my input volts uh, volts are, um, output, and then how, what the uh, hertz are. So it's 60 hertz right now is the output. Uh, 135 watts is right now on this system, right? This is with the, you know my whole system connected. Um, the output is right now, and if I run something, it'll actually change, which is really kind of cool. It'll tell you the output volt amps as well. And then it tells you the output watt percentage and how much of that whole capacity are you using, as long with the volt amps, what percentage of that are you using as well. And then it tells you the battery life percentage, and then back to estimated runtime. So there's a lot of cool stuff here, as you see in this display. I hope that that looked shows up well on the screen, but. I, I think that this was kind of impressive. Overall, what I think about the system, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would definitely recommend a battery backup on your uh, electronics as well, just to make sure that you're safe and everything else. Uh, this one in particular was really great. I did even try to uh, take out the battery and everything else. There's a, literally two screws on the bottom here. You unscrew, and then this uh, cover comes off. You take out the battery. You put a new one back in. Uh, it's really simple overall, little maintenance overall that you would need to do with that exchange. 
this system, the, one other reason why I recommend it is, you know, yeah, it may be a little bit more expensive than some other battery backups, but it does have that pure sine wave if you need that as well. And it's not simulated. So if you, you don't have those offs that may damage electronics, which is huge. And, you know, if you've ever experienced that, you know how big of a deal it is when you have a damaged electronics that you then have to go through a whole rigmarole, get new electronics or, you know, replace the whole device. So um, that, that was one thing that this thing it was I'm hoping that it does as well as protects everything if I have any issues with it I'll be sure to update you as well but overall I would definitely recommend this device I would recommend this line of devices I would say too so if this is too big for your what your capacity is of what you need to connect to it look at some of the other ones as well because I'm sure that they would then fit maybe better in a price range as well because I know this guy is not cheap that's what was one of my hang-ups at first as well was the price but overall you know the whole line there's something that should hopefully will fit in your price range otherwise and fit all your capacity of your systems otherwise look for a sale look for a deal and i, I hope that there's one out there for you so that you can best get your equipment protected and be able to then um have your equipment last for a long period of time so that you can enjoy it rather than having to work on something else. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for helping support this channel and helping it grow. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Gray Overload. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe.